Hi, hello, this is a new video and in this video I will mention this article about MDPI journal group. It's actually a journal group, not only a journal. And uh, so if my computer allows, I will do that for a second. So it says, so I didn't read it yet, so I will read it with you. Thanks to Chris. Christos Petro, I found a bug in my code. I was considering both section and collection articles as a special issue. The wall analysis has been changed to accommodate new data. I also acknowledge in the text arguments of Walker Beckman who develops a coherent defense of MDPI practices and disagrees with my overall take, and inserted references to what MDPI are doing for the global sort inline at the end of the piece. Thanks to input from Mr. Seu, Ethiopia. The post aims to answer the question in the title, Is MDPI a predatory publisher? With some data I scraped from the MDPI and some personal opinions. So, is MDPI predatory or not? I think it has elements of both. I will name their methods aggressive rent extracting rather than so they they mention their marketing strategy, aggressive rent extracting by. And I also think that the current matters growth rate are likely to make them shift towards more predatory over time. I don't know about it, but like more. But this predatory is really predatory or not? I don't know. MDPI publishes good papers in good journals, but it also employs some strategies that are proper to predatory publishers. I think that the success of MDPI is due to create a combination of these two apparently contradicting strategy. One, the good journals with high quality creates a rent that the others spamming hundreds of colleagues to solicit papers, yeah, like sending spam emails, and astonishing increase in special issue publishing papers as well as possible exploits. Uh, so, but I think they have independent editors. I don't know about it. And then the so that I didn't know that the special issue allows you to publish a paper very fast because. I think they know the deadline, so when the deadline over, they have to publish it. So there are many special issues, so I didn't know about it. The strategy makes a lot of sense from MDPI, who shows strong growth rates and is en route to become the largest open access book. Wow, it's the largest, I think it's the frontier soon. Uh, but I don't think it's, a, maybe it's not the largest, so. but I don't think it's a sustainable strategy. It offers suffers from basic collective action problems that might deal out of damage to MDPI first and most importantly to scientific publishing in general. So that's the punchline. Care to see where it stems from. In the following, I will focus on the terms of the problem, develop an argument as how the MDPI model works, and try to give some elements as to why the model was so successful, explain why I think the model is not sustainable and is bound to get worse over time. Okay. I will do so using some intuitions from social dilemmas and a handful of personal ideas and scrap data from MDPS website. The data cover the MDP 74 MDPI journal that have an impact factor. They represent about 90% of all MDPI published articles in 2020. Wow. Somewhat less for previous years as MDPI growth concentrated in the bigger journals. So they made analysis in the GitHub page. Some things are by and large puzzled by MDPI. On the one hand, MDPI publishes journals with high impact factor, uh, many of which are indexed in Web of Science. Many, if not most, papers are good. Several distinguished colleagues in nearly all fields served as guest editors or editors for their journals, often reporting positive assessments. MDPI is uh, open access, so it doesn't contribute to the very lucrative rent extraction at the base of elsewhere, other traditional publishers. MDPI's editing is fast, reliable, professional publication on the website is swift, efficient, and smooth. All things that are hard to say of other traditional publishers, so they're faster than others. Se several MDPI journals are included in the rankings used by different states to evaluate research and grant promotions to academics, for instance, sustainability. Class A, the highest possible rank in Italy. Wow. On the other hand, MDPI is, known, MDPI is 
known for aggressively spamming academics to edit special issues uh, and often in the fields that are far away from the expertise and Twitter and um, MDP, I even asked Jeffrey Bill, Bell, I'm not sure how to pronounce, list of, so the famous list of predatory publishers, uh, to edit a special issue in a field that is not his own. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, it, I think he's maybe a famous uh, author in MDP, and this was so funny. Uh, at least they should know that it, it, it is close to his field. I don't know what is what is this research field. It gets further than annoying emails, though. In 2018, the Wall Editorial's Boards of Nutrition, one of the most prestigious MDPI journals, journals, resigned, and mass lamenting pressures from the publisher to lower quality bore and let in more papers. This duality has generated some debates in several different places, among other in two posts. So MDPI rejection rates to make this argument hard to sustain. Yet MDPI is using some of the same techniques of predator genre. Uh, so, but I don't know what how much money they make through this. But I didn't know about the explosion of special issues and other things and what is the difference and how it affects the statistics to understand it. I think some should look at this i'm i think they are not totally uh predatory because uh, just because they're uh, dedicated to their work and not because because they're not really neglecting clients customers it doesn't make them predatory it makes them different though but i didn't know how the maybe the special issue thing is exploitable and i think spamming people without their knowledge is also not good strategy but I don't know, so I have no conclusion on this issue. I think I, I I would trust it if I want to send my paper, because we are they're crit critically criticizing it because it's a very big journal group, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's hard to control that too. Anyway, that's my overall opinion. I have I'm not 100% sure on how to fix this problem too. And thanks for watching this video and if you are more interested in you can find this article and read it and I partially agree partially disagree I think it's a web of science uh, it's a uh, part of web of science anyway so if you publish there there's a chance that you will be cited well so why they worry a lot about it I don't know anyway that's all I want to say bye bye